the problem that happens, especially with IT departments, and uh, again, I'll probably get into this a little bit later on too, but realize the scope of what IT guys do. It's a lot of stuff, right? So they have to take care of tickets because Jimmy can't print and Billy can't use Outlook and on and on and on. And you know, everybody makes fun of the end user, but we need end users to run our businesses. Um, but that's a that's a that's a big load. They have to, you know, plan for upgrades and figure out how to migrate into the cloud and what they're doing for this. And then in their spare time, they're expected to defend the network against guys like my team. And our only job is to break in. That's it. That's, I just keep going and going and going. Um, it's not a fair fight, like I said earlier. So we 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 want to show them that there are things you can do. Um, attackers are lazy, right? So whether they're they're penetration testers or they're a real adversary. They're, they're a lazy bunch. They're going to take the shortest path, the easiest path to get to what they want to do. And if you're going to leave those easy things around for them to take advantage of, they're absolutely going to do that. What you need to do is make their job harder, um, not make it easy for them, frustrate them, you know, make it hard for them, increase the cost of the attack so they'll, they'll basically go somewhere else.